Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Create with Kayla. If you're new, welcome. Today we're going to be creating this luxury dowel jewelry stand in collaboration with the Crafty Women of Color. I'll link them down below. Okay, so what you're going to need is this half inch dowel that I got from Lowe's. I'll link it down below as well as some wood stain and this liquid nail glue. So I ended up using this as it was about $1.38 and then what you're going to do is you're going to spread it on these towels like butter. These towels come from Lowe's. They were about 55 cents and you can find them in the tile section. I'll link them down below as well. Please excuse my nails. I know that some of my nails are popped off. This is what happens when you DIY all the time. All right, so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna smooth this in with your finger you can also use a paper towel to get some really really clean cut I know you can see it really nicely here on the screen but in person you can't really see it that good or you can actually put some trim around it to hide the extra cracks but I couldn't find a block of tile so this is what I used instead Because I live in an apartment, I'm going to have to use this miter saw. This one I can use in my home, well my actual apartment, that way it's not loud and I don't disturb my neighbors. Here is the half inch dowel from Lowe's and what we're going to do is we're going to measure this off. I'm going to make two different sizes. The larger size is going to be about 10 and a half inches and the smaller size is going to be about 9 and a half to 10 inches only because I like the way it looks on the jewelry stand. Okay, so we're gonna use our miter saw and I'm actually just gonna show you a short clip of how to use it. We're just gonna use our miter saw to cut our dowel and we're gonna do this two times at the end of each piece of the tape. You're actually gonna have some left over, so if you want to make more than one jewelry stand, you'll be able to do that. Now you're just going to peel off the excess tape and just get it prepared for sanding. So I had already had these plungers from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use the dowel end of the plunger to make my stand holder. And with these, they're very easy to work with without me having to buy extra dowel. So I did cheat a little bit, but that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to measure out which side we want to use. I wasn't sure which side to use only because of the sticker on it. So I did grab two, but you're only going to need one. Like I said, you're only going to need two of these, one short, one long. So I'm just picking out which one I like best. Now we're going to measure our dowel and what we're going to do is we're going to find the center of the dowel so we can drill a hole in it. After you mark the center of the dowels, what you're going to do is you're going to grab a one inch drill and you're just going to drill a hole down the middle. After you're done drilling your hole, you're going to sand down your ends of your dowels. My hole was one inch, but the plungers were not that big. So what we're going to use is these dowel scraps to fill in the extra gap. It is really going to come out nicely, I promise. What we're going to use to glue this together is this Type Bond Ultimate Glue. And we're going to stick some scraps in and then we're going to, you know, play around with it to make sure it fits in there. Make sure you take your finger and smooth out the glue edges around. That way it has a nice sleek finish. 
and here is just the dowels just drying and after they dry we're going to get this special walnut semi-transparent wood stain wood finish from Lowe's and I didn't put a pre-stain on it which is okay it still turned out beautiful without it and I didn't put it on with this Dollar Tree roller don't judge me but just comment down below how you put your wood finish on I really hope you're enjoying this video and watching me apply this wood stain. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram and like this picture and follow me if you're not following me already. What I'm doing here, I'm just measuring out so I can put down some glue to adhere the dowels to the tile. I did make the mistake of putting liquid nails down, but it did not work. I let it sit overnight and it actually flopped over. So to adhere tile to wood, you're going to need some hot glue, what I know best. So you just use hot glue to adhere the end of the dowel to the tile. As you can see, there's a little bit of liquid nail residue left over. But this is your final step and it's gonna be really, really nice. If you want to, you can go over your wood stain with a wax or anything that you want, but that is completely up to you. And here's your final look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this was an easy DIY that you can do at home. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram and follow the Crafty Women of Color page. And always don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload. Bye!